trainer Jason Pakel. And what I want to talk about with you today is Hashimoto's and vitamin D deficiency, which is a very common thing that occurs. Now, I say vitamin D when actually vitamin D is a hormone. It's not even a vitamin. Um, and initially, it was really only tested to check for bone health. In fact, the lab values that they still use today are used for those ranges when they were only checking for immune health, not for immune system health or T regulatory cell uh, problems. Um, so it's very important to know that. So when we look at those values, which can usually range anywhere from about 30 to 100 on the lab sheets that we'll see, uh, a lot of people run in those low 30s. And we'll see a lot of them even way below that that have Hashimoto's disease, which is very common. Hashimoto's patients typically have a genetic predisposition. Their cells basically won't absorb vitamin D properly. They, the receptor sites on the cells aren't working. So those receptors, those cells have to be bombarded with a lot more vitamin D than is typically given. Because again, um, you're having symptoms, uh, you go in and they run your labs, which I hear so often, the labs show normal or really close to normal, we don't really need to, to supplement. So uh, what we've got to do is say, hey, you know, you've got Hashimoto's disease, we need to have your vitamin D intake uh, way up there. We'd like to see it at about 100 to 110 on those lab values. So we usually have to supplement from anywhere from 5,000 uh, units all the way up to 20,000 units. And um, again, if we don't, uh, that vitamin D will continue to stay low and the body will continue to suffer due to this. So the other problem that I commonly see is doctors will give these higher levels of vitamin D, but which is the D25OH, the common one that you see checked on most everybody's lab test. But the problem is, is nobody checks for the D125OH, which is the storage form of vitamin D. You have to have both of those levels within range. So let's say you're giving the person a bunch of vitamin D and you, you don't check their storage, or you eventually check their storage, and it's through the roof. So they're storing tons of vitamin D, but there's hardly any in circulation. Now the problem there is called a vitamin D polymorphism your body is just holding in storage. It isn't able to use that excess of vitamin D and you're making yourself sick by storing so much of this hormone. It can start to cause detrimental effects. So in those people, there's another specific protocol that has to be used to get you better. Otherwise, you're just going down that road to nowhere and you'll progressively worsen. And this is what I see so often that patients complain, you know, my lab values look normal, why am I still having these thyroid symptoms that just continue to persist? Um, you need to find a doctor that's going to check these things and check them correctly and give you the proper supplementation that you need, especially when it comes to Hashimoto's disease or thyroid conditions. If you need more information, just contact us, www.needthyroidanswers.com. Have a great day. Thanks.